Emma Greed is probably best described as the Kardashian family's favorite business partner. She's played a crucial behind the scenes role in helping them transition from reality television into the business world, and she's helped them start three companies, including Kim Kardashian's shapewear brand Skims and Good American, the denim company that she started with Khloe Kardashian. Reed grew up as one of four daughters to a single mother in East London. And as she describes it, she was always extremely interested in fashion and she would save her money from odd jobs like doing a paper round to buy fashion magazines. When she was in her early 20s, she got into the London School of Fashion, but she couldn't afford to complete her education there. So she got a job at a fashion show production company. And while working at the fashion show production company, she came up with the idea for her first business, Independent Talent Brand, which connected fashion designers with funding. You know, it's so interesting because being in fashion, what I was seeing is that I just learned so much more doing these work experience placements than I was getting from the college experience. And, you know, it was just one of those things where I made that decision and I look back on it, you know, I think that there are reasons to stay in college, of course, having that security of an education. But for me, I just felt like, you know what, I just need to hit the ground and get in and meet people and network. While working in the fashion industry, Emma kind of realized that there was a need for a diverse, um, both in terms of size and racially diverse fashion company because she felt like a lot of companies were trying to do it but it was more for show than it was genuine. So she came up with the idea for Good American and she had gotten to know Kris Jenner from just being part of the fashion show scene and Kris said that she should take it to Chloe and together they found a Good American in 2016 and they claim that when they launched, they had the most successful denim launch in history. They've expanded into different categories like swimwear and shoes, and the company has just been growing and very successful. What we do is work in this incredible size range. So we're creating clothing for all women all the time, from a size double zero to a plus size 30. And there's nobody else out there actually doing that. And also this important part about really never sacrificing fashion for the sake of inclusivity. We're making clothes that women really want to wear that they can't get elsewhere. And that's what's so great about that business. We're actually serving a really underserved market. Emma was approached by Kim Kardashian about Skims in 2019 and because she had just created Good American with Chloe, it felt like a natural fit for her to join Skims and she currently works as the Chief Product Officer. Her husband, Jen Greedy, is the CEO of the company and so together they kind of manage the day-to-day -day operations as well as the design and merchandising for the company. She's also the chairwoman of the 15% Pledge and that was founded after the murder of George Floyd in May 2020. It's a commitment from retailers like Sephora to pledge at least 15% of their shelf space to black-owned businesses and entrepreneurs. What's so incredible about the pledge is that we've created $10 billion of opportunity for black-owned businesses with the likes of Nordstrom, Sephora, Ulta, Bloomingdale's all having taken the pledge. And it's meaning that so many more entrepreneurs are getting access to wholesale, to retailers that they may have otherwise been overlooked. And so I just think that, you know, for me, we talk so much about DE and I in our businesses, about, you know, diversity, about inclusion. And, you know, it's time that businesses put their money where their mouth is. If you actually want to make a difference, there are so many great businesses out there that we can interact with and that should be on the shelves. And she also was a guest judge on Shark Tank. So if you're not in the fashion industry, you may recognize her from there. One thing I think is important to highlight about the story of Emma is that, you know, a lot of celebrities launch businesses and most of them are not successful because it takes more than just, you know, a whole bunch of Instagram followers to be successful. So Emma seems to have found this perfect recipe of collaborating with these influencers, but also they have a business partnership where they're both bringing equal amounts of um, work and commitment to the table and that's why these businesses seem to be working.